Northside, Ralph, you're on the score. Hey, Dan, you know, I, I actually can't even believe this hire, okay? I've been sitting here with you and everyone else seeing a non-dynamic offense for the last two decades, and you hire a C-level defensive coordinator, okay? As soon as they have some kind of decent offensive coordinator, he is going to be gone as a head coach somewhere else in the league that is driven by dynamic offenses at this stage, okay? This guy's had mid-level defenses. You had a guy out there in Buffalo who's looking – his track record, this guy's been on five Super Bowl teams as a coach. And to see what he did with Josh Allen and to not get that, that guy in here, okay, is a complete joke. I can't even believe this. This ever flus, this is going to be ever lose, ever lose it's for the next. It, it's, it's Eberflus. I know it's Eberflus. His nickname is going to be ever lose because that's all that's going to be happening. Lose. And it's going to be the same crap as always. I'm sick of it. This decision represents, I think, true tone deafness and an arrogance on the part of the McCaskies or, and, and Phillips. I wanted someone who had a track record of winning, preferably as a head coach, and someone who had a strong personality. Mario in Hyde Park. The OGs are out today. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Danny? How you doing? Good. You all right? Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Go, you know, go Bears. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's a bad hire. I don't think it's a good hire. I don't know. I never heard of him until like a week or two ago. So I don't know. He might be great for all we know. I just think my concern as a fan, having gone through this whole melange of Bears coaches my whole life, what's that front office going to look like besides the GM? Who's doing the scouting for the talent? Because you need talent to win that division. You know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of Bears fans pretending like they know who, how any of this will shake out. Like, you could hire Brian Dable, who has been on multiple staffs, but you've never heard his name un- until he met Josh Allen. And so you can pretend like you want the shiny new toy, which most Bears fans want, but you have no idea how any of this shakes out until we see production on the field. Also, Greg Gabriel is reporting that Poles and Eberflus have the same agent, and they've developed a relationship over the last couple of years. So it's not a situation where he was forced into hiring someone on a list. They actually have a relationship and share the same agent. So we have to allow these things to unfold and see how things happen on the field instead of pretending like we know if Leftwich or any of these other guys are any doggone good because we don't. No, uh, I agree with you. And that's why I, I described this in large part as a leap of faith. When it's somebody who's never been a head coach before, he does appear to be well-connected, and he does appear to have uh, more people than just Bill Polian or just the new hire who think he's going to be good at this job. I can't wait to hear from him.